Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at the Brooks oscillator here. This video is just gonna focus on Brooks as a standalone module. It's a pretty simple through zero VCO, but it's got a couple really, really nice features like a uh, LFO to VCO switch. And then this zero to three to six volt switch acts as kind of like an octave. So let's just take a listen really quick to the sine wave out. So we'll go from zero to three to six. So a nice range there. A couple of other features here is that there's a sync input so you can sync the waveform with an external oscillator. There's also a reverse in which basically just reverses the wave. Um, and then of course we have our one volt per octave in. We've got square, sine, saw, and triangle outs. If you'll notice this arrow here pointing into the FM input, that signifies a normalized connection when it's being used in a full COCO system. So in this case right here, the uh, the sine wave or the morph output from cascades would be normaled into that. But in standalone mo uh, mode, the, the arrow really doesn't mean anything. Um, and then this FM attenuator here just attenuates whatever you're sending into your FM input right there. So again, very, very basic VCO or LFO. It works as a really great control voltage source within the COCO system or just standalone. So why don't we listen to the waveforms and then check it out as a modulation source. So I've got this COCO system over here running in an LFO mode. So this is this canyon is creating a step sequence, which I'm then quantizing in an ornament and crime and then running into the one volt per octave of this Brooks. So let's listen to the square wave output first. Of course, we can switch our octaves here. And now our sine wave output. Our saw output. And then finally our triangle. All right, now let's run some voltage from this cascades into some of the various CV inputs here. So let's start with a sine wave coming out of here. Let's run that into the sink. And now into the reverse, this is really fun. You can get some really wild results here. Let's try something a little bit beefier, like a saw wave or a pulse. And then finally, the FM. So let's put this into LFO mode here. And we'll put the sine wave into the FM. And there are the sounds that Brooks can make. So let's check it out when I flip that switch to LFO. Okay, so in this example, I've got that same sequence that we are running into the Brooks earlier um, is running into this Cascades. So this is gonna be the voice that we're listening to, and then I'm gonna use this Brooks as a modulation source. So here it is with no modulation yet. And now I'm gonna start introducing some modulation from the sine wave of this Brooks with a three volt selection here in, uh, in the voltage mode. Uh, and then I'm gonna run that into the morph. Thank you. 
So let's take all of these outputs and just putting it, put them into the various inputs of this cascades. I'm going to use the pulse wave out as well now. So we're going to run the square wave from the brooks into the pulse width modulation input on the cascades. And we'll put the triangle here into the uh, FM. And then finally I'll put this saw into our remaining, uh, it's probably not going to sound that great, but I'm going to put it in the sink here. Alright, so let's modulate the modulator. I'm going to use these two brooks here to modulate the brooks that's modulating this cascades. So I'm going to use the square wave here. I've got this in VCO mode. Um, in the zero volt range, so it's the lowest volt range for this, and then I've also got uh, the, the pitch turned way down, so let's put that in the reverse here. Now I'm going to use this third Brooks, I'm going to put the sine wave of that into the FM input of our modulating Brooks. That's pretty cool. Um, then I'll take this square, put it into the sink. And that is our Brooks in a nutshell. If you'd like to learn more about the Coco as a system, please visit our YouTube page where we have two videos, one that covers Coco using the canyon as the centerpiece and one using the valley.